Welcome to the Dietitian Side Hustle Podcast. My name is Katie Dodd and I'm a nutrition entrepreneur. I spent seven years as a side hustler before diving into entrepreneurship full time. Before making the leap, I was bringing in six figures through my side hustle. If I can do it, you can too. This podcast is for dietitians, interns, and students who want to be inspired to start or perfect the side hustle of their dreams. Let's do this. Hello and welcome to the 171st episode of the Dietitian Side Hustle Podcast, Dangerous Dreamers. So I got back from Fincy last week, the Food and Nutrition Conference and Expo, and I just want to say for all of you who I had the chance to meet in person, it was so lovely to see you, to connect with you again, or to meet you in person. I will say that's one of my favorite things about Fincy is being able to see old nutrition friends, but then being able to meet you guys in person. And it's so, so exciting and so, so fun. And also welcome to those of you who maybe knew nothing about my brand, met me at Fancy, and now you're listening to the podcast. So I um, recorded an episode, I think two, two episodes ago, all about Fancy. And I think you guys probably took away that I love this event and I fully intend to be at every Fancy like forever. So if you ever want to see me in person, come to Fincy. And I will say there is another live event this year. Um, I'm going to be doing a um, podcast episode in the future about the Practice Revolution Live. This is um, my friend Javier and Marissa Carlin with the Practice Revolution. They're doing a live event in December. Um, We did this last year. It was called Nutrition BizCon. Now it's kind of more like um, it's it's kind of shifted and rebranded, but it's still going to be like the same thing in person, amazing inspiration, ability to connect with a smaller group of dietitians compared to Fancy. Um, the goal, I believe, is about 125 people there. They're really close to that goal, but spots are still available. If you are interested in seeing me in person, I'm going to be a speaker at this event and being an amazing event for entrepreneur dietitians or RDs to be, then go to my website, katydodd.com, and um, there's my affiliate link there. You could learn more about this event. So, anyways, All that to say, you could see me next year at Minneapolis Fincy, or you could see me this December in Tampa at the Practice Revolution Live. I believe it's called Time to Thrive. So let's get back to what I'm talking about with this episode. So the episode I titled Dangerous Dreamers, I I literally just came up with that title on the fly. And it actually comes from um, Fincy opening session, because one of the speakers there who I'll talk more about, he shared so many amazing things. But one thing he said actually made me gasp, my jaw dropped. And that's what I wanted to share with you. So For opening session, they always have like a speaker, some type of big speaker. And this year it was Stedman Graham. Now, when I saw the name Stedman Graham, I had no idea who that was, but I Googled him because I knew that historically speakers at opening session have been pretty inspirational, pretty good speakers. So I Googled him and I learned that he is a pretty amazing businessman and he has lots of really good best-selling books. And so I, on Monday, ordered his book, Monday Before Fancy. So I was leaving on a Friday. On Monday, ordered his book on Amazon called Identity Leadership. So it's Identity Leadership by Stedman Graham. And I'm not that far into it. I was started reading it before I went to Fancy. My goal was to finish the book before I heard him speak. Um, I got to page 75 out of, I don't know how many pages are in this book, like 234. But This is one of those books where I've been underlining so much stuff to where I have to do a double underline or a star or something or a little pointy arrow to emphasize like, no, no, this is a really, really good one because it's all so good. So anyways, um, his book is amazing. It's all about before we could lead others, we have to lead ourselves first. So it's about, you know, personal development and it's, it's just so good. It aligned with so many of the things that I believe in personally, but then also is like giving me lots of inspiration and information moving forward. So anyways, highly recommend this book. I'm not done with it, but so far everything's been amazing. And Stedman was a really good speaker in person. He initially wasn't like the fastest, most upbeat speaker, but as he continued to go along, he shared his stories. He made people laugh. Um, I really feel like he was a great speaker. And I think part of it is because I was totally fangirling because I read his book ahead of time and, you know, got to know who he was. I'm like, this gentleman is amazing. So when he was up there, he had a slide and I took a picture of it and this isn't his quote, but he was sharing it with us. It's from someone called D.H. Lawrence and it's kind of like a little bit of a poem and it's called Dreams and I'm going to read it to you. And this is the the end of it. It's what made me gasp. I'm like, oh, that's so good. So dreams, all people dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake in the morning to find it was vanity. 
But the dreamers of the day are dangerous people, for they dream with their eyes wide open and make them come true. I'm going to read it again. All people dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake in the morning and find it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous people, for they dream their dreams with open eyes and make them come true. I just realized the first time I read it, I kind of mixed up that last line. It doesn't matter. Is that not good, guys? And when I when he read that, like I guess I'm like, oh, I'm a dangerous person because I'm a daydreamer. I dream with my eyes wide open and make them come true. Now, I am so obsessed with dreams. I'm obsessed with um, not only my own dreams, but all of your dreams. I've shared before. I, um, it's kind of become my my little mantra for Dietitian Side Hustle, live your dreams, change the world. And the belief that I have that each and every one of you listening has an idea in your head and a belief in your heart. If we could just get it out into the world, the world would be radically changed by it. Now, through my brand, Dietitian Side Hustle, I've had such a privilege of connecting with so many of you, um, some of you who have become my clients, some of you who have not worked with me, but lots of conversations, and all of you have dreams. But the hardest part is how do we take that dream and make it a reality? Some of you have been sitting on the dreams you have for years, some of you decades. It's just this dream in your head, an idea of what you want to do, but you just... You're held back because you feel like your dream is too audacious. It's too impossible. You'll fail. It's not going to work. It's too risky. It's too this. It's too that. I don't know how. I don't have time. I'm too busy. There's all these reasons on why not to pursue the dreams and they just end up not coming true, right? Like that, that dream unfulfilled. And what I was so excited about is this idea of being a, I just made up the term dangerous dreamers. I don't want to like call this episode dangerous people because I thought that sounded weird. So, so the dreamers of the day are dangerous people. And that is true because when you dream by day and you understand that this is a dream that I am going to make a reality, I believe this is possible. I don't think it's going to be easy, but I believe it's possible. I have a strong why I'm creating a plan. I have smart goals and I'm going to do this. You're a dangerous person because you're gonna make that dream come true. And because that dream comes true, you're going to change lives. You're going to make impact in ways that you could only dream about. So that really was something that stuck with me. And I, I really want to pass on to you guys that like, you guys, let's become dangerous dreamers. Let's become those dreamers who are dangerous because our dreams, they're not just in our head. We make them a reality. We are world changers. We are taking our dreams, however big or however small they are, and we are making them come true. Now, my hope is with this podcast, with the Dietitian Side Hustle community on Facebook, um, the website, like all of the places where I am, my hope is that this platform is a source of inspiration for you because I want you to be inspired to become a dreamer of the day, to become someone who doesn't keep those dreams in your head, but you speak it out into the world and you take action to make it come true. I, I look at my own life and I still like, I, it's almost been two years that I've been a full-time entrepreneur and I still am in the pinch me mode. Like I cannot believe this is my life because I'm actively living in a dream I never thought was possible. I would have never thought if you told me a few years ago when I started my blog business that I would become a full-time entrepreneur, that I would be able to drive my kids to school, that I would be able to have time freedom, to, be, to make more money, to make more impact. I, I would have never in a million years have guessed that this was really possible. Like, you know, I knew it was possible, but I just didn't think it was attainable for me. But apparently I'm a dangerous dreamer because I dreamed, I got in the right communities, I did the hard things, I failed, I pivoted, I twisted, I turned, and I got to this place that I'm at. And what I love about this is knowing that, okay, I was able to walk through this and I'm nothing special. I'm just Katie, each and every one of you whatever big dreams are on your heart, even those dreams that you're scared to speak out into the world, they can come true. And I would just want you to take a minute to imagine, like what if we were two years in the future and you're actively living the dream that's in your head now? What would that feel like? What would that look like? Would you be like me where every day you're like, pinch me, I can't believe this is true? I mean, this morning, it is Wednesday. I, I dropped my episodes Wednesday. I'm running a little bit late, so... <laughs> It is Wednesday, but I was able to wake up early in the morning, have breakfast with my daughter at home, drive her to school. She goes to drum club on Wednesday morning, get out, wait in line with her until drum club opened up, drive home, go on a walk, talk to my parents while I was going on a walk. And then recording this episode, 
woke up my son. He has late start today. Um, Wednesdays are late start for middle school here in Southern Oregon. And so I'll be driving him and his friend to school and we'll probably be going to get coffee at Starbucks. And my schedule is just so flexible. It's so flexible and so fun. I get to be present with my kiddos. I, I get to serve you guys. I get to work with the most amazing dietitians and healthcare professionals. And if I want a billion dollars tomorrow, I want to change a thing to what I do in my business. I wouldn't stop this podcast. I wouldn't stop my blog and accelerator program. I wouldn't stop my blog boss mastermind. I wouldn't change a thing because I've been able to build a business that really is based on what I love doing. And it doesn't feel like work. It's the dream. <laughs> so all that to say, Fincy was amazing. It was inspiring. And I hope for all of you, even if you weren't at Fincy, if you're like, I wasn't there, Katie, that's not my jam. Or I wish I could have been there, but it is expensive because it is. My hope is that even just this little nugget was a takeaway for you. Just learn like, okay, who's this dead mid Graham guy? He's not super active on social. I think he's 72, um, but his books are amazing. Highly recommend it. But even just coming back to that quote and just that reminder that we should be the dangerous dreamers. We should be the dreamers who don't just think about things and talk about like, oh, maybe someday, but we should be the dangerous dreamers who make them come true. Live your dreams, change the world. So that's all I had for you today. Just a quick, short message. And yeah, thank you so much for being part of the Dietitian Side Hustle community. As always, go to my um, link tree page, which is katydodd.com. Learn about all the ways that we could work together. I'm going to be um, running my blogging as a business webinar again next month in November, if you've missed that, or if you want to watch it again. Um, I mentioned the Practice Revolution live event in December, and you know there's always fun things going on. So go to katydodd.com. That's where you could learn about the ways we could work together or even affiliate offers that I have for other people who might be a good fit for you to work with. So thank you so much for listening to the podcast, and we'll chat next week. Bye, guys.